Sometimes a hunt can work out just perfect. This night, things are different. When I look down, the lights are getting brighter. Did I miss something? You know what? We may have a chance on this big boy. Until you do it, you don't even know. Sometimes we're in a race. Can we get there in time to be productive and be successful? You know, a lot of people often ask me, what possesses you to go out after dark and hunt these hogs and stay up all night? They can't believe that we actually stay up all night. You know, they're like, man, it's just crazy. The first time one of my friends sits with me and those lights come on, I mean, the look on their face, they are literally amazed because everything is different at night. It's the unseen. We have, as humans, have no idea what's out there and what's going on. Well, I mean, literally, we bring those animals to light. It's one of those things that until you do it, you don't even know. I mean, it's like your eyes are blindfolded until you've done it. And once you've done it, you just can't get enough and you want to do it all the time. And you're somebody that can't stay out at night and you get tired too easily. You're suddenly you're awake, your drilling's pumping and you don't want to stop. You want to go to the next stand. And pretty soon you want to have more feeders because one's not enough because if something goes awry at that one or you shoot one and the gig's up and you want to move on and you want to keep hunting. I say it all the time, but it's true. Everything's different. There's a different feel. There's a nervousness. It's scary. There's suspense there. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you can see under the whole feeder area and then some with our lights, but outside of that feed station, I have no idea what's out there and what's coming in. Sometimes those hogs will just walk in. You don't even hear them. A lot of times you get excited, you know, you're alerted to hearing something coming and you know something's coming, but sometimes you just see the lights start glowing and you know something's there. I don't know if a mountain lion's gonna walk through. I don't know if a bobcat's gonna come through. I don't know if coyotes are gonna come through. And there's just no telling. I mean, the not knowing, the excitement, there's a little bit of scary in there, unpredictability. Anyway, nowadays our feeder lights are so bright even on 10% power, you know, they're just barely glowing, but it's still brighter than they used to be on full power. And they're running like that all night and just sitting there and trying to watch and see what's going on. And all of a sudden the lights start coming on and start getting brighter. It's just like being at a big concert or something. The lights are starting to come on and I know something's about to happen. You just never know what you're going to get into. You never know exactly what's going to happen on any of those hunts. It makes you want to do it more and more because the experiences you have and it makes you want to stay out later and later because the action gets better the later it gets. I can tell you that. Elusive Wildlife Television is brought to you by Black Eagle Arrows, Pig Oil Wild Hog and Bear Attractant, The Kill Light Outfitter, Buck Oil White Tailed Deer Attractant, Maverick Blinds, and by Elusive Wildlife Technologies, makers of The Kill Light. 
Elusive Wildlife Television is brought to you by Bow Trainer Strength Trainer for Archers. You know, these stalk hunts that you see a lot of times on the show, 99% of the time, those hunts aren't planned to be that way. The thing is, we're just trying to get to the setup before the feeder goes off and the hogs are already there. So in many cases, we're creeping up. We see the hogs there, they may kind of ease out. Well, we hit the remote to get them all to come back or at least stay there so we can creep up and shoot them. Spot and stalk, man, a lot of times it works out. Those hogs, their attention is on feeding. It's on the corn. That's where the remote comes in by knowing your path that you have to go to to the setup and making sure that you can be as quiet as possible. Have the wind in your face. The hogs are already there. You have a spot and stalk then. a reaction. <laughs> Tell you what, we knew we had some good cover wind. I knew I could get close. I could have gotten the stand. Those hogs had no idea we were here. They do now though, that's the problem. Spot the stock, lighten the stock. I don't know what you call it, but it's good fun. There you go, look, right here. Batteries, they're just one of those things hunters have to fork out money for. Put a trail camera out, it's gonna need batteries. If it's one of those fancy cameras that sends photos to your phone, it's gonna need them too and burn through them faster. Putting out a kill light so you can see to shoot that big boar that won't move during the day? Yep, batteries. It's a headache and can get pretty dang expensive. We got tired of doing it, so we made a reactor. Elusive Wildlife's Reactor Universal Solar Power Pack is a compact, easy to mount powerhouse that converts the power of the sun into the power you need. Those rays beaming down on the reactor solar charge the built-in power pack, providing enough power to run your camera or light day after day, night after night. The reactor is made to work with virtually every 6 or 12 volt camera on the market and can even output both voltages at the same time. Want more power? We got that covered too. Connect multiple reactors together to create as much power as your setup demands. The package includes all the cables and adapters you need to get things running. Just set it up in the sun, connect the cables you need, and forget it. Get even more hours out of your elusive wildlife feeder lights without changing a single battery. Sounds too good to be true, I know, but this thing is life-changing. Don't believe me? Well, how about we give away one for free? 
Just go to the Elusive Wildlife Facebook page and like, comment, or share the giveaway post for your chance to win. We'll randomly pick a winner and it might as well be you. Can't wait? Just go to ElusiveWildlife.com and click on that shop button. Put some reactors in your cart and we'll get them headed your way. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to ElusiveWildlife.com now before everyone beats you there. You know, one of the challenges of one of our favorite spots is Kim's Pond. It's where I shot the big boar and it dove in the water and all that stuff that people remember. But the dilemma with going to Kim's Pond, especially if it's later in the night and the first feed time has already happened, is being able to just get into this setup without hogs literally walking over you or you bumping a hog on the way into the setup. So we're going ahead and creeping and as we come around the bend, a couple of big trees that kind of block your view, we're able to peer around, and there's at least four or five hogs there already. We know that we're not gonna be able to get up in the stands. This hunt right now is turning into a spot and stalk. Man, I'm trying really hard to focus under the feeder <laughs> and pick out a hog to shoot, but uh, honestly, my mind is wandering because I keep hearing noises all around me, and there's a lot of pigs, as you can see on the video, man, we're close, and some of these hogs are big. Man, they're in and out of the light, and they're all around us, so it's, uh, it, it's hard to stay uh, focused. I love getting in the stand, sitting in my nice little seat. I just feel like I got my pants half on, you know, trying to get down the trail and not stepping on stuff. It's dark and you're trying to make noise. And a lot of times the hogs are back behind the areas that you're walking up in. I mean, we've almost stepped on hogs several times. Sometimes I'll smell them and I'm like, I stop because I know they're right next to me and a big boar be right there. And I mean, it gets scary. So there's a lot of reasons I like to get in the stand, but it doesn't always work out that way. throughout the night. If I'm hunting or Chad's hunting, we're checking the phone to check the cameras 
to see what hogs are at our different kill light spots. We're on our way to the hog trap, 3 a.m. We're trying to get there before the 4 a.m. feed time. We stop in the middle of the road in the dark, look at the phone, and this big boar is over there right at the camp setup over there, offset from camp, kind of near the creek. The problem is with this setup is the wind usually. It's a north setup. And so when you're hunting out there spring or summertime, usually it's not gonna work for you because 99% of the time you're gonna have a south wind. But here's the deal, the wind had died down to almost nothing. I looked at Chad, he looked at me and he said, you know what, we may have a chance on this big boy. If we can creep in there, quietly get into the stands, hit the remote control on the feeder, this hog may come in on us. Oh my gosh, look at the cutters on them. Look at that. Chad and I made a decision just to come over here and give it a try. I mean, look, it's late. I shot this boar 4.45 in the morning. This is why you hunt with our lights. They all work. And you saw how bright the lights were out there and it did not spook these hogs at all. There was a smaller hog that was with this one that came out a little bit before to give this one the all clear and then this big boy came in. These big boars move late. We are having more success between two and five in the morning. That's exactly what happened here. This is, that's one of the top three hogs I've ever shot. I mean, this, this is a monster. And we've been doing this a long time. That's awesome. Every time before Chad and I take off on one of these night hunts, you know, we work out a game plan, a strategy, a script, if you will, of how everything's gonna go. Well, with all of our experience, we've been doing this 22 plus years, I can tell you right now, a lot of times it does not go how we think it's gonna go. We're always learning, we're always adapting. I told Chad on this last trip, I said, man, I tell you what, we do learn something every single setup we sit in. So there's so many things we're always paying attention to that's where experience comes in. You gotta get out and do this nighttime hunting. Do it as often as you can. Every single time you'll learn something and you'll be more successful by doing so. You know, here at Elusive Wildlife, we specialize in illuminating dark places. If you use any of our products, uh, you know what it's like to be hunting in the dark, maybe hog hunting at night, and the difference that a big bright light can actually make. It's an incredible thing, and we are really, really honored to be able to provide that to many people around the country, in fact, around the world. But you know, it got me to thinking one day, what do we do when, when life goes dark? What happens when life goes dark? As a pastor, I see people all the time that go through some uh, difficult moments in life. Maybe it's a divorce or maybe it's a bad doctor's report or maybe they get laid off from a job and we wonder, uh, what are we gonna do now? You know, there's a scripture where Jesus himself said that I am the light 
of the world. I am the light of the world. And maybe you're not one of those people that, you know, go to church much or ever thought about uh, religion. Well, here's what I would like to say to you. Jesus Christ is not about religion at all. It's all about relationship. And when we enter into a relationship with God through his son, Jesus Christ, it brings an illumination to our life. Doesn't mean that we're not going to have problems. Doesn't mean that auto automatically all of our troubles are going to vanish. But let me tell you what it does mean. It means that we have found a power that we can tap into that will help us navigate through the most difficult moments of our life. Jesus becomes the light in the dark places of our life. If you'd like to know more about a personal relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ, just go to elusivewildlife.com and click on the Moment of Truth tab.